it looks like you made a feature film and then you cut a trailer, which means correct. You raised the bar because you had to shoot all these different scenes with all these different actors. Yeah. I basically made, I basically scripted it out of the script. I basically like, what if I was to cut a trailer out of this script? Even though you don't know that Lionel is at the blackface party when he throws the watermelon down in that mm -hmm. concept trailer, I knew that. And I knew that you would know, you would feel that this scene has a bunch of choices happening in it that make, that would make perfect sense if I could see this movie. I wanted to give you like, oh, there's a much bigger world here. So um, it was important to have the script done already. And it was important to make decisions about those little scenes uh, that, that were rooted in the whole film, not just in creating a piece. We're gonna watch a little chunk of the trailer just to, so everybody knows what we're talking about. But I think it's, it's important to see because also because of the way you made it, it it's you know, stylistically like the, the feature and like the show, yeah. which is yeah. a very specific style. So let's watch. I, I cut out the middle part, but let's watch. Dear white people, breaking news. The amount of black friends required to not seem racist has now been raised to two. Sorry, your weed man Tyrone does not count. Dear white people, please stop touching my hair. Does this look like a petting zoo to you? Hey, Biatch, your hair is so cute. Is it weaved? We do not have a race problem here in Manchester. Are you even in the Black Student Union? You think I'm black enough for the union? There isn't a right way to be black, sister. What do you want? I want what we always talked about. Wife, kids, I want all of that. I really, really do. That is our challenge, how to be bigger than black, when there is no word for it, when there is no precedent in the culture. Hey, nigga, what you got on right now? Yeah, boy, public enemy, Yo. Mm -mm. What? You guys get country clubs, and we get to say nigga. It's amazing. I mean, you just watch, there's, there's more to that. It's like a three and a half minute trailer. Um, but if I feel like we saw 20 different locations, you know, 30 different actors, all these different scenes. It, so ambitious that, that you goal. pulled that off. Yeah. That was the goal. <laughs> and you only spent like less than $2,000? I mean, I think it might've ended up more than that. Um, I don't remember, honestly. But yeah, about that though, about 2000 altogether. In two weeks. Well, and what made that possible was dreaming about it incessantly and coming up with a lot of creative choices before it was even possible to make any of those creative choices, really, uh, and figuring out what style I wanted to shoot it in and what kind of music it should have and what the color palette was and what everyone looked like. All of that stuff was stuff that I figured out because I don't, I don't know how to do it any other way. I just like if I don't feel like it's real and I don't feel like I'm engaging in these choices, um, I just don't know how to get excited about it. You know, it's like, I'm a, I'm a writer director, but I'm a director first. Like I need a, I need to catch a vision for something. And I mean that literally, I need to know what it'll look like in some way or, and sound like uh, while I'm writing it before I write it. 